Hello guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great weekend. Thought I would do a little video on a piece I picked up uh, fairly recently. Um, this is a life-size bust of Arthur Fleck, and uh, this was actually produced by Nikos Dresios. I hope I've pronounced that right, um, or you're better known as Nag in the sort of collecting um, community industry. Uh, and I've always wanted a piece from from um, Nikos, um, uh, in particular Pennywise. He does some excellent Pennywise pieces. But I saw this come up, and I just had to get it because I I saw the Joker movie, and I just it was one of the best movies I've seen in such a long time. Like it was so so good. And if you haven't seen this film, go and watch it. It is it's just a brilliant brilliant film, brilliant movie. Um, but anyway. Let's get on to the piece. Like I say, I had to get something from, from that film. And um, I couldn't pass this one up. So what actually what, what it actually was, um, it was actually just listed as a bust with the neck portion and some of the um, uh, clothing, uh, which wasn't accurate. So what I've actually done is converted this into a torso bust and try to sort of like source some uh, more accurate clothing that um, it resembles what he wore in the movie so let's have a closer look and uh, I'll show you some of the really nice details I actually picked up this mask as well um, what I'll do I'll show you I'll, I'll, yeah I'll give you a quick look at it now this is a, a latex mask and uh, it's pretty good actually there's a few of these available and they both kind of um, vary in terms of their appearance i think this is probably the more accurate but the other one benefits from it being like a um a hard um resin copy um i'm not sure if it is resin but it is it's it's hard so you can actually kind of display it better i was thinking of reinforcing this so it would kind of you know i could prop it up or something like that but uh, i do have another one coming so uh, which which looks more accurate so this is kind of like a, a temporary display, if you like. But it's pretty good if you want to pick one of these up. These are really inexpensive. And um, they look pretty damn good. Uh, especially if you wanted to do like a cosplay or you're doing a fancy dress. Even if you want it in your collection. If you put it on a, a foam head or something like that, it looks fine. Um, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I'll put that there for a second. And then if we look on the base, I've actually got his um, laughing condition. Spoiler alert. Actually, not too much of a spoiler, but um, he does have this uh, laughing condition, which is uh, accurate to the movie. So I thought that was a really nice touch. I've also got this um, revolver, which I do need to do some work on. It's just kind of there as a, a placement at the moment. And then... Uh, yeah, it was it was a case of sort of sourcing uh, the right clothing. I was going to go with the uh, the grey cardigan, but I thought it actually looked better with the brown, especially with the uh, like the tan jacket. Um, and then you've got that face sculpt, which I think it is bang on. It looks exactly like Arthur Fleck to me. Really, really amazing. Just coming back down to the cardigan, this was actually a, a, a jumper that I, I turned into a cardigan. So uh, it's a little bit kind of crude if you like. But um, I think it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> like I say, I thought I think the brown kind of uh, works better with the tan. And then you've got that head sculpt. Let's give him a little spin. And this is actually made, I think it's made out of fiberglass. I might be wrong, but um, it's not resin, but it's obviously solid. Um, what I did do um, upon receiving this on delivery, um, I did actually, it did have quite a lot of a, um, a gloss finish to it. And um, sometimes with sealants, it can really kind of, um, uh, hold back the paintwork. I feel um, it, it depends what the paint job, what you know, what the kind of appearance you're going for, and and I don't know. Some some work well. I I did it with a a, a fairly recent Regan bus I painted up, and I wanted to go for a kind of sweaty look, and it just didn't look right. 
And I, I thought the same with this. It was just a bit too glossy, so I knocked it right back. And um, you can really see the details and the skin pores a lot better now. Really, really nice piece. Also features uh, glass eyes, which are accurate. Uh, hand laid eyebrows, eyelashes, and then um, I'm not sure of the hair. Might be mohair. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Uh, I might actually do a bit more work on that as well. Put a little bit more product in there. I'm just spinning around the back. Like I say, I think the uh, the likeness really is bang on. Also, um, it's quite cool in his pocket. I have actually got, uh, bear with me, I'll try and do this one-handed. The uh, red nose. So, if you do want to display it like that, which I actually quite like, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I have actually had it displayed like this for um, a number of days, so it's quite a nice little uh, switch out. Very cool. Like I say, if you've not seen this film, do yourself a favour and go and watch it. It is. Phenomenal. I do actually have a, um, a full Arthur Fleck Joker makeup version that will be coming hopefully soon. Um, it might slip into next year, but um, that's a commission piece I'm having done. So uh, I had to get that as well. I just I, I love this film so much. I can't I can't stress enough how good it was. Very, very cool. I was going to display this without the actual jacket because, again, it looks pretty decent with just the actual cardigan on. But um, I decided to go with the jacket. What I'll do quickly, uh, just for the fun of it, I'll throw the mask on so you get to see him with the mask as well. And um, that will just about wrap it up, so just bear with me. Okay, and there's the, uh, the latex mask which uh, I probably won't really display it like this. I might do uh, on the other Joker that I've got coming just now and then kind of display it, but kind of gives you a look at this mask as well if you did, you know, plan on purchasing one. I think I paid like, I think it was about eight pounds for this, which is probably around six dollars, five, six dollars. Um, if I say, it's actually not bad. for a, uh, what looks to be, it's, it's, it's fairly accurate. It's actually, you know, it's not far off and I've studied it quite a bit. Yeah, very, very cool. Super happy with this. Arthur Fleck by a nag. Really, really cool. Anyway, thought I'd give you a little look at that one, guys. Um, I will have some more pieces to film soon. Um, pieces coming in. Hopefully have that new Joker soon as well, so I will be doing a video on that. So uh, look out for those ones. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy, stay safe, and I will catch you later.